Hey guys, it's Bear now. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we headed down to Cinnabar Island and we recovered a few fossils from the dead. Uh, actually, we'll free up a bit of inventory space, which is good. Holy snap. Uh, this is the Pokemon Mansion. I don't know if I want to go in here. I guess I will, because uh, the trainers in the Pokemon Mansion aren't too tough. They're a little bit tough. Um... Like, they're a little bit tough. Now, there's quite a few Pokemon that you can get inside uh, the Pokemon Mansion. In fact, there's not really a lot of trainers. Now, you can get Ponyta. There's quite a few Pokemon that you can't get anywhere else in the game here. Um, and pretty much the only one that we haven't really seen before is Magmar. He's only available on the... Uh, third floor and the basement floor. And by the way, I don't know if there's if different areas have different rates of which Pokemon appear. But for some odd reason, I always find the Pokemon Mansion seems to have the most common Pokemon. Maybe it's just me, but uh, so yeah. So we'll, you'll find Magma in here. You know, Magma's okay. You know, he learns some more right moves. He's got good attack and speed, I guess. Uh, doesn't evolve though, and. The worst part, also, who wouldn't? There's switches everywhere. Um, oh boo. Uh, and the worst part about Magma is that he's only available in Pokemon Blue, and he's not—he's you can't get him in Pokemon Yellow as well. So this is the only place you can get this one Pokemon. Aha! He's really a trainer. Uh, but yeah. So, you know, Magma could be better. This guy has a Charmander. Charmander. <laughs> I will never let that go. Oh no, he's raging. Too bad I dealt too much damage on him. Otherwise, he would have dealt less. That's when he deals more damage. A little bit more damage. Or he can just wrap him into police and stop his rage. Now that being said, the Pokemon Mansion does have quite a few items just lying about. He also, he also has a Charmeleon. Because someone needs to have them eventually. Come on, Loopy, you can do this. There you go. Now, Loopy's level 42, and, you know, I think that's fine for Loopy. I think Moopy's all set for now, at least. Uh, so I'm gonna switch out to, uh, Grabo. Because I think Clam Clam probably will get, will get, uh, a lot of experience in the gym. So I'm not gonna use him too much. So the big question is, where are we going? The Pokemon Mansion isn't too big, but it does have four floors. You can also get Grimer. And Coughing. Uh... Also, you can open switches and stuff. So here's a book. Diary, July 10th. We christened the newly discovered Pokemon Mew. Or we christened. I christened. Uh, there are... how many items? There'll be three hidden items. Uh, two are in the... Oh no. One's on the third floor, one's on the basement, one's on the ground floor. And we're on the second floor. There's a balcony. Can't really do anything yet, but okay. So yeah, so if you press these switches, also this music. This music, I don't know what's with it. Oh boo! I don't know what's with the music. The Pokemon Mansion, I, I seem to have bad memories of it. As in, not like I can't remember, but just I, I remember hating it. But to be honest, it doesn't seem that bad. It's a little bit. It's not as large as Silphco, and fortunately, it's also not as confusing. It's just. Secret switch, yes. Okay, so if I press that, maybe this door will be open if we can get up there. Vulpix! Of course, yeah, if you want a good fire type, Vulpix is definitely good. Um, that being said, fire types aren't gonna be too good for the gym. Uh, for, for the gym, for the, um, 
Well, of course not for the gym, but... Let's see. July 5th, Vienna, South America. America? <laughs> a new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. Oh no, we found that Pokemon! No, it's just a Grimer. Oh my gosh, Grimer. Grimer is like a bull. Um, there's an item. There are quite a few items to grab. A boo. I really would need a repel for this place, wouldn't I? Because seriously, that that kind of gets out of control. You know, you know, I was surfing across the ocean and nothing was hitting me, and now here it's just like nope. Grimers everywhere. Calcium. I'll take it. Uh. I would like to press the switch again, but I'd also just kind of like to go upstairs. Okay, so this is the third floor. And here's a switch. Check out this room. There's rocks everywhere because it's an abandoned place. There's iron. Here's another trainer. So yeah, so there's not a lot of trainers really. There's only about six. And legitimately six. Well, there's a magma. They're actually kind of rare. So I guess if you do want to catch a magma, yeah. Because this is the only time you can get them in blue and not red. Uh, my mentor once lived here. Good for you. Good for you. So he's got Magmite. You know, because Magmite. Super so Oh, thank goodness for that miss, because I don't want to deal with more confusion. Confusion is like the worst thing right now. In this day and age, confusion is the worst. He has a Magneton, though. Too bad I can hit it first go. That would have been awesome. I can hit it second go. No. Nope. Third go. Fourth go. Fifth go. I missed all five times. What are the odds of missing five times? Whatever... Whatever the map is. Whatever 0 0.7 to the power of 5 is. I'm not gonna kill him, am I? I just like grab. Oh, come on! Well, I will take getting confused. Snoozu, you can do this. Snoozu. Snoozu's just like, ah, you hit me. You can't super your Sonic. That doesn't sound correct. Maybe not, we won't go there. So yeah, so I don't really feel like healing. I don't feel like healing up uh, all my Pokemon just because it doesn't really seem like I need to. The Pokemon management isn't really that bad of a place, provided you just run all the time. So yeah. Now Speed V, I would like to train him up because, as I said, the ground type gym is coming up. The ground type gym is the gym after the fire type gym, basically. And the electric doesn't hit ground. Okay, so there's a downstairs. Brilliant room right here. In fact, yes, this room is actually completely pointless. Now, there are two places you can drop down. Yes, you can drop down. If you drop down here, you end up on the second floor again. That's about it. It also kind of resets the doors. It also resets the doors, so you have to push them again. You have to stand in front of them as well.
Oh no! It's a coughing! Coughing! Other than that though, we've pretty much scouted out the entire second floor. The third floor is not that big as well. Like, it's not too long of a place. So yeah, so switch those, and we'll head down the other way, because the other way actually drops you down further, it heads you down to the first floor. It reminds me of, um, Sprout Tower from Gold and Silver. Just kind of that weird three-dimensional aspect. Who are you? There shouldn't be anyone here. Well, he's here. There's a bunch of pyromaniacs. Or burglars. Hamburglers. He's a scientist and he wants to fight. And he knows how to explode. Go grab her. So yeah. I would like to train speed me, but the problem is uh, the scientists here. With the scientists, they're electric type, but I can't really do anything if they're electric type. Uh, body slam. You can't lower my lack of defense. Oh, that is disappointing. Sonic Boom! That's actually a decent tactic. Strength! Good on you, Grabber. Uh, Weezing! Oh, I got this. I know it's got real good defense, but... Body Slam! And again- oh, if he poisons me. I call it every time. It happens. It just seems to happen all the time. Oh my gosh. You know, this this never happened in Pokemon X. I have no clue how, but... So, yeah. Uh, what else? Where can we go? We can head north. Ah, the, the flashy lights. Bonita! So, let's see, I think there's an item around here. I may as well heal if I just ended up outside. <laughs> Good on this place, it just confused the heck out of me. Okay, let's do this again, once more with feeling. Uh, yeah. Actually, just before we keep going up, there is one thing that we can grab. And that... Oh my gosh! Just wild Pokemon ever at. Ooh, it's a muck. Muck. Too bad I got speedy, so I can outrun you. Uh... You can grab... An escape rope! That's nice. You know that they give you an escape rope, because... Seriously. Also... Moonstone. More to sell for nothing. Seriously, moonstones are just the worst things. I, I mean, you get, you can't buy them, so I know, but you can't sell them for money. 
that they just go for nothing. Also, let's keep going upstairs. We didn't we didn't check this out. And of course, there's a wild Pokemon right in front of this dude. Clearly, between me and this burglar right here, there was a muck that's level 40. Ooh, ooh, snap! That's actually a pretty high level for a muck. This place is like huge, like totally. It's the Hamburglar. He sent out nine tails because he has good taste in fire types. Too bad Speedy has good taste in burning with electricity. If I get burned from this, I actually won't mind. I've never gotten burned yet. I think we did burn an enemy once, but I can't remember. Ah, I got a priority attack. The burgers, by the way, give a lot of experience. And a lot of money as well. Sorry, February 6th, new game, but we named the newborn Mewtwo. Okay. Okay. Maybe you should say. Here's an item. It's a max potion. Max potion. Also. There is a... An item. an item and I really wish Bulbapedia would actually say where these are. Seriously, Smogon has a very nice website that um that uh like has screenshots of like where all of these are. Like people picking up these items so it's like you know what they're looking at. Again more magma. So yeah so you can't really do anything in this room so you do have to kind of go around and thankfully that's still open. So many trainers. I don't want your muck. So yeah. So to be honest, this place isn't that bad. It's just like, you know, wild Pokemon just come up so much. Anyway, also don't go outside. That's a tip. And head down the stairs, because you get to go to the magical place known as the bottom floor. Now, the bottom floor is a little bit large. It's a bit larger than the other floors, really. There is a dude here, but we'll read his diary. September 1, Mewtwo is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. Dude, did you give it the medication? So yeah, so yeah, it says diaries that talk about a, an ancient Pokemon called Mewtwo. Where am I now? I don't know where I am. Oh. So yeah, um, so this burglar is a Growlithe. He's also got a Ponyta, so I guess he's got the best of both games. Uh, Thunderbolt. Your Thunderbolt is awesome. And that sound just makes it awesome. Seriously, so you just hear like this. This looming growl. Except it's not growl. Tail Whip at level 37. You know, you know, it's not even that it's just Tail Whip, but it's also... This is a Pokemon with really good special stats, and it's got an attack that lowers the opponent's physical defense. Seriously, this is what I love about 4th Gen onwards, is that suddenly it's, there's, a, there's a very nice strategy in trying to manage... Um, Trying to manage your defenses while dealing damage at the same time. So you have to worry about two factors. The physicals and the specials. The problem, the problem with this is that you just you just gave a move to a Pokemon that doesn't even want to learn this stuff. Um uh what was that? 14. 14's Blizzard. It's really good. Blizzard is one of the best ice type attacks. I'm sticking with Ice Beam just because I prefer the accuracy. 
but honestly, Blizzard is very good if you want a really good... I, I should have really triggered the switch, shouldn't I? If you want to press the switch, and then it opens this door, but I think it closes the one above. But I think it also opens the other door. You want to also head across this room, because there's an item on the floor. Gone. There you go. This floor. It's a full restore. Or it's just like. Ooh. Boo. I'm a grimer. So yeah. Uh, okay, let's head up. And we got another trainer. Last dude, I think. It is ideal for a lab. There's a bit too many rocks though, you're gonna need rock smash. But you, you can't learn that until like a few years. I am a speed- oh snap. Should've thought about that before I went in. Uh, I would like to send a Clam Clam, but then again, Clam Clam's gonna completely level up. Like completely in, in the gym. Oh no, not Thunder Shock. Whatever will I do? Snoozer is 37. Uh, Electrode. Uh, no, I'm good. Ah, oh, that, that ring. Oh, okay. I don't mind. Snoozer can take that. Look at, look at Snoozer. Snoozer is just like, I can take that. Snoozu is awesome. Snorlax is really good. Well, you were the one who exploded! No. Now, I know that there's a... I think there's a statue there. And I want to check to see if that's not blocked. Good. You can't keep going, but... That's not blocked. Ah. Every single time. So yeah. Now, I don't really think there's anything necessary in the Pokemon Mansion. I think it's only really here for... Uh, there's a lot of wild Pokemon, I'll, I will say that. Although, there's a lot of poison types, you know? Gives you Grimer Muck. By the way, this is the first place in the game where you can catch Grimer. Uh, you can get Mux at a very high level here, so I guess, yeah, go for the Mux. If you want a Poison type, that is, then not the best. Coughing's probably the best, the best Poison type in the game. And you could have caught it a few times before, so... Oh my gosh, Ponyta, I don't want you. No more room? No more room? Oh no, uh... What else am I going to use that for, really? And also, while I'm at it, get that rare candy and I'll use that on Mookie, because then I don't have to use him again. He's only 12 levels away from evolving, and I actually thought I was legitimately worried. TM22 is a uh, solar beam. It spends one turn, uh, one turn charging up. There's a rare candy there as well. It spends one turn charging up a laser, and then it fires it, and it's, it's not, like, extremely... Extremely inaccurate, it's actually pretty good, but it um, it deals a lot of damage, but then again, it also leaves you open for a turn. I might teach on Venusaur. Also, Secret Key. I think you do actually need this. this. Oh, there, the secret key is in order to open up the power plant. Or maybe it's to open up that door. Nah, let's go flip the switch again. Oh my gosh, Grimer! Grimer! 
They're everywhere. Secret switch. Okay, so I'm just gonna head out of this place really. It's not too far, because all we gotta do is just walk out that not quite front door. Or if you really want you to be like me and just walk off the stairs. Oh, I gotta flick the switch again! Ah! You know what that means? I gotta walk all the way around. Blue! Yes, I get it. Go speed V. Okay. So pretty much we're just gonna walk outside. Press that switch. Okay, and just head up. Head out to the door. Go up the stairs. Ah! Boo! Get it. You are spooky. Alright, just, just run away, I don't need you. So I think the secret key is to open up the power plant, but I wasn't entirely sure that it was necessary. Anyway, I guess because we're outside, we may as well end the part off here. In the next part, we'll go to the gym, clear out a few trainers, and maybe we will catch some legendary birds. Maybe. Anyway, see you guys next time. Do 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 do